You know what? Colin, he took me to Hawaii for the first time. And I tell everybody I'd never been in love before, right? But I think I fell in love for one second because I was, <laughs> he was taking me to his, meet his parents. He was, me calling him was like another fighter's with us. You know, my memory's back. I can't remember who else was with us. But I saw this Hawaiian girl walk across the street in like the flower dress. And she had like the little flower in her ear. And I told Coach, I'm like, stop, stop. I want to talk to this girl. He looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, I'm like, stop it so you can hit on some chick in my neighborhood. I'm like, Coach, I need to talk to this girl. It's the most beautiful girl I've seen in my life. And she got away. I, this was years ago, like over over 18 years ago. And oh, I, man. And, and I, I never forgot this girl. Never forgot. I just, you know, my memory is really bad. What she look like? Bro, she looked, she looked so beautiful. She had like long black silky Hawaiian hair. She had like that red flower dress. <laughs> it was all, she was all shapely, nice. She had like a really beautiful face, like immaculate, like perfect. <laughs> Brother, sounds like you were in love. I yeah, I, th th that does. Bro, Damn. I, bro. Detail was on point, yeah. right? Bro, Detail was on point. Bro, bro, she had like a little pink flower in her, in her behind her ear. <laughs> I, I, I never forgot that girl. What was her name? He didn't get <laughs> Did you just hear what I said? My what? coach didn't stop. Coach Oyama didn't stop. But you don't know her name? I never talked to her. I wanted to, I wanted to, when he got to his house, I wanted to run back up the street, but she was probably gone by then. So I just. Yeah, you don't like running. You ain't going. <laughs> wow. I was, like, two, hey, I, I was 205. Uh, I was 205 back then. Oh, yeah, I was fighting 205. I was probably I mean, you're probably like, what, 190 right now? What are you right now? So, how, how, <laughs> so wait, what would you have told a girl if you did see her? Yeah. I, hey, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I probably would have like a, a mumbling fool. I don't know what I would have told. Oh, man. I, would have, I probably would have fucked up and be like, hey, you into black guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Before we go into calling Oyama, because we have a lot of lot of stories about this. I've heard a lot about you, a lot about you. I had Robert Emerson here yesterday. He started off at Oyama with, uh, um, who who else was there? Mr. Creepy over there, Uncle Creepy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, Shane. R.I.P. A lot of great, a lot of great local legends here in Orange County. Tito used there. to train with Tito, him. Yeah. yeah, that's why I went over there. Tito was training with him. Tiki and Rob McCullough. Uh, Tito, uh, it was crazy. I was like in fifth, sixth grade. The first fight I ever watched was uh, Tito versus Shamrock, and Oyama was in his corner. Oh, yeah. Then uh, years later, I got to train. I got to go down and train and stuff. So, I mean, I've been yeah. watching MMA forever. So I was like, oh shit, that was one of the first guys that I've seen coach and fight, and it was just ran like crazy that. Enough that yeah. I got to coach, uh, got to be coached by him. So before, I, and I want to go into Oyama. We have a lot to unpack there, I'm but sure I do want to go into Oyama. <laughs> I'm sure That's you your coach. Hey, have some respect. 